So we are going to move on to uh, uh, Spacey Cowboy versus Maximum Lolly Step. So uh, that's probably. Let me take a guess here. Of which side? Who's on what side? Maximum Lolly Step on the there right. We go. All right. Cannot wait for us to get this camera. Yeah. That we're gonna, we're nice. gonna make this all better. We have we have the technology. We have the tools. We just have to. <laughs> we don't have the resources. We don't have, yeah, we just have to. Uh, <laughs> figure we have out. to download more USB. Yes, <laughs> download more USB. Expand USB.exe. Wonder what the solution of that will be. But now we've got Spacey Cowboy versus Maximum Lolly Step. Two players of whom. If you were only going by names, you'd assume they were new because these are both new names. But I assure you, they've been here for quite some time. Yes, they're also like, I, I'm going on the Spacey Cowboy name. The Maximum Lolly Step is just very much a Deku thing, just to give him because he's been going as Comfy Dubstep, and I don't, I think he's gone as Comfy Dubstep more than he's gone as Deku. Yeah, at least here, like. He's used Deku for his Smash games like almost exclusively, but anytime he's in a fighting game thing, it's it's comfy dumb stuff. So, all right, we got this Mika combo in the corner. Ooh, I like it. So both players in a bit of a character crisis mode, I would say, just trying to figure out what they really want to run in this game. But um, yeah, it seems that. Uh, Comfy wants to uh, wants to at least have a lolly on his team because I'm pretty sure he plays all of the lollies. Yeah, which brings me to the point. Even though, even though this isn't the same team as Deku has been running, it's not a team that he's completely unfamiliar with. He's played both of these characters numerous times in numerous other brackets, so he's not lost in what he wants to do, at least individually with each character. Um, Spacey Cowboy oh, might no. still be trying yeah. to find that, find those better... Oh, that's the game itself. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, uh, yeah, he got him in the happy birthday situation and was able to finish off the assist and then finish off the primary character. Yeah, Platinum. Platinum's little outro. Weirded me out. I thought we actually set up the soundboard there. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, what's happening right now? But, uh, Spacey. No. Yeah, he just might not be there with his characters just yet. But I think, I think at least his Ori is getting there. It is really, really close to being the Ori that he needs it to be in order to go far in this bracket. Oh, I definitely agree. I'm glad that like he's gonna be sick with oh tried to uh, push the burst with a jump but uh what kind of like had a cause a scramble situation there wasn't really able to oh. uh, capitalize on it and now now it begins we we see just clay's Skullgirls play and Whoa, now you get to see the man. maximum lolly step the maximum vortex step there yeah that was pretty gross oh tries to dp the the whole of the scenario away but but it wasn't doing anything yet. Yeah, just waited for the assist to come out first so they could follow up on block. Smart smart call from uh, from Deku. Ooh, just all right, we'll dash him with our EX missile. Oh, messes up his stagger pressure. Eating this Ruby combo. Here we go, coast to coast. Okay. I like I like going for the uh, going for that super instead of the uh, the other one. Oh scooped. And that that is a weakness that we saw exploited from Spacey early on, or a few matches ago. He gets hit by quite a few Kavan grabs, especially the more and more that it gets uh, mixed into one's game plan. So, yeah, and that one specifically, like I, I think it's the first time I've ever seen <laughs> Deku, Deku step, whatever. I, I'm gonna. The first time I've seen Lolly step go for that specific super ever. So I that would have caught me. I was dead. I was absolutely dead. But we have the switch. Oh, actually, the Orie is being replaced with Hyde. Oh. Okay. All right. We're going Team Pro Tag. This is interesting. I don't think I. I, I gotta be honest. I don't think I like it. Right. Orie is the character. Right. That's the character that he's been trying to stick with almost since at least that DLC dropped. Right. Yeah. And, Looks like his faith is shaking a little bit here. 
But, oh, drops the combo. Picks it back up with a grab, though. If he watches back, I, I don't think there's a need to to let that faith waver. Uh, Hyde and Ruby are good. They're probably good together, but I think the the anything Orie could work out just as fine. But maybe I'm about to eat my words. Yeah, making this team work. And like you were saying, Fly, like this is a very shadowy team. So it's you can play your neutral and kind of do whatever the situ or do what you need to with whatever situation comes up. Like these these two could definitely capitalize on that. And if nothing else, with the hide he has access to the multi-hit fireball assist. Oh, hide, that setup might, is good. Just might not matter. Hide is dead. Ruby. Oh Same no, time. oh no. Oh, that's scary. And he's still sandwiched. Uh, DP. Yeah. Hit him once, but the DP just didn't connect for a combo. And Dude, that's too scary. That's like, <laughs> like, he called cross combo. You were still sandwiched. Like, uh, what do I do? And so that'll be 3 0 for uh, maximum lolly step. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna go play.